Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In this video, we're going to go over the Evo news that was just released today regarding the rule set for controllers. Let's get started. So if you're not aware, Evo has finally weighed in officially on the matter regarding control stick regulation. Now we've been talking about this for quite a long time. The fighting game community has been trying to address this I would say for the better part of a year seriously it was brought up prior to that but I would say it really gathered a lot of steam most recently with Daigo and his Gaffro box. So from my understanding Evo has done some heavy research in the matter and has started to develop official rules. I've got the tweet right up here they posted it today at about 1:50 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and we can take a look at this right now. It says to resolve the ambiguity around custom controllers, we're developing guidelines around what is and is not tournament legal at Evo. We'd like feedback from the community. Here's a sneak peek. So they have a Google Doc posted. I'm going to take a look at this. Let's go through this line by line and really explain the rules. There honestly seems to be a lot of confusion. I'm going through the comments here and this is why I'm doing the video. Uh, because I do see people asking questions left, right, and center. So I'm going to read it and give you my best take. All right, so firstly, we can see motivation. There are open questions as to the legality of custom controllers and controller modifications in the FGC. This has led to uncertainty for both players and product developers. And we couldn't agree more with this. For example, Hitbox and their cross-up weren't sure if it was going to be tournament legal or not, but they're pushing forward with their Kickstarter. And looking at this, it looks like they want to have it finalized by October 31st, 2019 which is just a little over a month away. So it's pretty quick. So they seem to be pretty far down the path. So scrolling down a little bit here, they have a definition of terms. So controller, input mechanism, and game input. A controller is basically a game pad, a fight stick, or a homebrew controller. An input mechanism is basically like a push button or a joystick. Uh, if we take a look at the game input, that's anything that sends a signal, like whether it be a button, or a lever that sends a signal to the game. But don't worry about that because I'll break all the rules down to make things easier to understand. All right, looking at the rules here. Number one, the controller may not activate multiple game inputs from a single input mechanism. So basically this means one button can't do two things unless the game allows it. For example, if you go into the game options and they allow you to sign one button to do, for example, three punches or one button to do three kicks, that's allowed as long as you're doing it inside the game. What's not allowed is if you are to wire a button, for example, if you are to manually wire a button, open up your fight stick or controller and wire one button to do multiple things, that's not allowed. On top of that, macros aren't allowed either. So if you have a computer board designed inside your fight stick, you press one button and it does a few different things, that's not allowed. Now there are also two different things that aren't allowed here. If we take a look, a slider, for example, if you have some sort of slider on your control stick, uh, you slide it, it does different things. The further you slide it, that's not allowed. Uh, what's also not allowed here is a button if you have it wired, whether it's on a controller or a stick or anything. If you were to press it, for example, halfway down and it throws out a punch and then you press it the full way down and it throws out a kick, that's not allowed. So to sum everything up on this one, if you have a joystick and you hold it in the down and back position, that's absolutely fine, that's normal. If you are to have a button that you can assign in a game, for example, the game allows you and the game has a setting where you can have a button doing different things, that's allowed. What's not allowed is basically any configuration outside of the game for a button to do multiple things. Rule two here might be a little confusing. It's, it's worded a little interestingly. It says a controller may send analog game inputs from analog input mechanisms or digital input mechanisms so long as it does not violate rule one. So basically everything here in rule two cannot violate any of the not okay things in rule one, which we just covered. So in a nutshell, let's just sum this one up. First and foremost, you can have a button that does something with a lever. So for example, if you are to press a button and the game registers that button press as you tilting the stick to the left, that is okay. What's also okay is to have multiple buttons to do similar things. 
for example, using buttons to simulate a trigger pull. So for example, if you do not have an, a, a trigger button on your controller, uh, what you can do is use those buttons to simulate it. For example, you have one button, let's say, and you press it and it simulates a partial, partial press. And then you press another button and it simulates the full press. That's fully allowed. What's not okay is if you are to have one specific button. So for example, if I press the X button and it made the control stick go left and then right, that's not okay because that's multiple inputs for one button. Reading number three here, the controller may not send simultaneously opposite cardinal directions, so SOCD, game inputs. SOCD inputs include left, right, and up, down. This typically is enforced by adding cleaning firmware to the controller which removes one of the inputs before passing to the game. Something interesting to note, stock game pads, for example the DualShock 4, are explicitly exempt from this rule. This rule will be removed on April 30th, I think that's a typo, 2021. Um, what basically this means is the DualShock 4, it's obviously it comes stock this way, there's no SOCD cleaning. So basically any SOCD cleaning is handled by the game. So if you are to hit, for example, left on this, and then you are to hit right at the same time, you may get a different input than something with built-in SOCD cleaning. So in a game, for example, that didn't have any built-in SOCD cleaning, you could essentially block left and right at the same time by, by doing this. And honestly, this is one of the biggest cause for concern so it looks like they really don't care that you can do this on the DualShock 4 because it's an official PlayStation controller. And says here a lever that sends the down and right inputs when held in a certain position this is specifically allowed under the SA I think that's supposed to be SOCD uh, ruling so it looks like there's there's just a few typos in here but that's okay because this is an early release um, but basically what they're saying is if you hold it down like this this is allowed because it's down and down and right or down and left that's fine too because you're not interfering with anything what's not okay though is if you have a push button for example and when you press it it sends left and right input so for example if I were to press the X button here when I did that the controller then recognized or the fight stick recognized that I was pressing right and left at the same time. That's not allowed. And again, that kind of falls under the previous rules where you cannot have one button doing multiple things. What's also not okay is if you are to mod your own fight stick and have something that overrides or bypasses or doesn't have SOCD cleaning. So generally, for example, controllers like the Hitbox, those have SOCD cleaning in them so you cannot hold left and right and put out left and right at the exact same time. Now for the moment some of you have been waiting for. What does this mean for existing devices? First and foremost, Hitbox has a huge win here. If you backed the Hitbox cross up, you have nothing to worry about if you want to take it to a tournament. It seems like it's going to be fully legal because of the SOCD cleaning in it. It's absolutely fine. On top of that, the Smash Box is also going to be tournament legal. The Gaffro Box, this is pretty huge. The Gaffro Box, which was banned at a CPT, so the Capcom Pro Tour, that was banned. Um, but it is looking like it's going to be tournament legal based on these rules. It's very, very interesting. This sentence right here sums it up. Therefore, the Gaffro box is tournament legal. So that is huge. So that's very interesting. So it has SOCD cleaning and it's okay. And something else of a lot of interest here, some tournament players have developed a novel grip with the PlayStation DualShock 4 controller, which allows them to simultaneously hold left on the analog stick while pressing right on the D-pad or vice versa. So basically, I was just talking about this earlier, but if you don't know, you can kind of hold the DualShock like this or a variation of this and hit different directions all at once. And some of the players actually do this uh, because it does give a massive competitive advantage and was also one of the reasons into this whole inquisition. But it gets even more interesting here where it says, for EVO 2020, the device violates the SOCD portion of rule three but it is specifically allowed by the stock controller exemption. 
Therefore, for EVO 2020, the PlayStation DualShock 4 is tournament legal. For EVO 2021, Rule 3 will be revoked and the PlayStation DualShock 4 will be, therefore, um, that's, an, that's a little bit wrong of a sentence, but anyways, will be remain tournament legal. So this will remain tournament legal because Rule 3, if we go back to Rule 3 here, the SOCD rule for 2021 is being removed. So if you want to sum things up in a nutshell, basically you can't have one button do multiple things. For example, you cannot have this button trigger a left and a right movement. You cannot have this button do a macro. You cannot have this button trigger this and this button unless you do it inside the game menu. You can have buttons assigned with movements. For example, if this triggered a left movement and this triggered a right movement, that is absolutely fine. However, you do need SOCD cleaning if you have a controller that is modified in any way, shape or form. On top of that, you can have a button simulate a pull down of a trigger by, for example, 50% or 25% and another button to simulate the rest of the pull. That's absolutely fine. And one huge thing to note here is that this is an early draft of the rules. These are not finalized. And if you want to get involved and share your own opinion, you are invited and more than welcome to. So it says here, in conclusion, we appreciate your feedback on this rule set in advance of any final decision. We look forward to engaging with the community in finalizing these rules for EVO 2020. If you have specific feedback you would like to convey directly, please direct it to Mr. Wizard at Shoryuken.com with the subject Evo Controller Rule Set Feedback. So this is pretty huge. If you do want to be a part of this, if you have two cents that you'd like to, to give them, maybe some advice, maybe a suggestion, please do. I strongly recommend it because anything that you give is probably better than nothing if you have an idea. No idea I would say is a bad idea because they're looking at everything right now and now is the time to get involved. Uh, in regards to other tournaments, these rules right now to my knowledge are specific to EVO. Now there is something called the Capcom Pro Tour for example that spans different venues, different tournaments. I'm not sure if these rules will be also adopted by that. But since EVO is kind of the uh, right now, anyway, it is kind of the marquee event of the fighting game community. I have a very big hunch that other pro tournaments will adopt very similar, if not the exact same rules. Anyways, that's all I've got for today. I will be doing another video once these rules are finalized to see what kind of changes were made or what additions were made. Let me know in the comments below what you think about these rules. If you have any questions, let me know and I'll try to my best to address them. If this gets a lot of questions, it gets really hard to address everything. So I do apologize in advance, but for the initial time that this is up, I will try my best to get back to everyone. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you didn't like the video, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone. Take care.